What if you could direct a blockbuster movie without a camera, a crew, or even a cast? What if all you needed was a single sentence? That future just arrived, and it's shaking the very foundation of filmmaking. For years, the promise of generative video AI felt like a distant dream, something perpetually on the horizon. But the timeline just collapsed. They said a true, photorealistic, minute-long video from a text prompt was impossible. A year away, at least. But now it's here, and Hollywood is panicking. And the panic is justified. The disruption isn't just about technology. It's about pure economics. Consider this. A major studio film's budget can easily exceed $200 million, with a huge portion devoted to on-set production and visual effects. AI video generation collapses that entire model. Suddenly, the traditional barriers to entry, time, money, and resources, are being completely dismantled by code. A film crew costs hundreds of thousands a day. A single CGI shot can take weeks and a dozen artists. AI removes all of it. Why pay an actor a million dollars when you can create a hyper-realistic digital double that never takes a break? Why book an expensive location when you can type in a dramatic shootout in 1940s New York at golden hour? The speed and power are undeniable. But as the technical hurdles fall, they're being replaced by complex, urgent human questions. We've moved past the debate of if we can do this, and now we must confront the reality of how we should manage it. This new technology is so good, the debate isn't about quality anymore. It's about authenticity and ethics. Should every AI video be watermarked? Does a generative model steal the style of a living artist? If anyone can create anything just by thinking of it, what happens to the value of skill, patience, and human creativity? These aren't just philosophical questions for a classroom. They represent a fundamental power shift that threatens the entire structure of the entertainment world as we know it. The industry faces a reckoning. It's not just about job losses. It's about total creative decentralization. The gatekeepers are gone. The tools are free. But is an art form still art when a machine does the heavy lifting? Is this the ultimate creative tool or the ultimate artistic copycat? Think about that. The line between creator and consumer has never been blurrier. While Hollywood grapples with its identity crisis, a new generation of storytellers is logging on, ready to create. The script for the future of film is being written in real time, not by studios, but by anyone with an idea. The only question left is, what stories will we choose to tell?